Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little's Law YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see about how to use the web regex web reg save para underscore regular expression. So using this, we can use the regular expression to do the correlation. So we will see that with an example and also we will see the difference between the web red save param regular expression and the normal web red save param. So we will see the differences and how they work and what are the benefits and advantages and the disadvantages of them. So first, let me create a request and for that, let me so here I have a request and let me pick it up and come back to the load runner and let me create a well, let me create my first request through the rest api and let me paste the url here so this is the get request and these are the default parameters that i have got recorded as part of this script so let me run this step to make sure the request is fine so the request works fine everything looks good so let me insert this step so here we all know any request that comes as part of the application might also come up with some dynamic values as part of the request that comes from the server so here you can see the value j session id which is an alphanumeric value that comes from the server which again is always used to keep the session alive and it will not allow any other session to get hijacked so that is the reason we have this correlation id to maintain the safety and security of the application and also to maintain the security so now we do need to correlate this j session id value so that we can correlate this value and we can use that in the upcoming request we can pass this value in the upcoming request so that they all keep the session alive until the tests or any other validation is over so now here we can see the j session id is equal to and we have the number so using the web reg save param so there are two ways we can i so in so in most of the cases if you just click on it and when you click right double click on it and do the correlate selection in some scenarios there are situations like this where you might not get the value getting created so in those situations we can write the functions manually and i will show you how to write it so again there is another way you can just double click on this web bridge save param regular expression and then you can give the parameter name you can write the regular expression the group the DFEs and the ordinal so I will show you manually how to do that so first let me write the function so any function or any particularly with this web read save param functions when you are writing it you have to write on top of the request so that this actually works as a preprocessor and they extract the value from your request which is found below so let me write the function so just type web bridge and when you click shift control tab you get the isense and intelligence so let me choose the web bridge regular expression save param regular expression and the first thing is i'm going to give the name name of the value that we're going to extract so i'm going to give us so let me go to this next line here so before that let me close this with a semicolon so anything that comes inside this will be our part of the script so i'm going to give the parameter name it's going to be j session id the value which we see here so the first value is the parameter name j session id and the next one is the most important thing that is the regular expression so we're going to write the regular expression so first let me write the regular expression so here you can see the value j session id equals j session id equals so that is going to be your left boundary and then the value comes in so how are we going to extract it so let me first create a bracket so anything that comes in between this value will be taken as the regular expression value and then so here i have added the bracket and then 
let me add a square bracket inside that I'm going to add the values a slash and a double quote and the ampersand so now I'm going to add all these values and at the end I'm going to complete it so let me explain you what is this stands for because that's more critical it's very critical so you need to understand it so let me explain you what is that and why is it and how to use it so let me first start with the brackets the opening bracket and the closing bracket so this part of the regular expression is used to capture the actual J session ID value so these parentheses are used to create a capturing group this means that whatever matches the pattern inside the parenthesis will be extracted as the captured value and then next comes the the square bracket and then the symbol here and then a slash and then the double quotes and at the end the ampersand so this is a character class that defines what characters are allowed in the J session ID value it means it, it it matches any character that is not a double quote or an ampersand so that is why we add these values so anything that is not a double quote or an ampersand will be matched and this is used to ensure that the extraction stops when it encounters any of these characters as they might be part of the J session ID value so that is the reason the the moment it reaches the double quote or the ampersand automatically the extraction ex extraction stops and it is captured and then next comes the plus symbol so the plus sign means it matches one or more of the preceding characters so in this case it's matching one or more characters that are not double quotes or ampersands so this allows the regular expression to capture the entire J session ID value until it encounters a double quote or ampersand so you got it right so that's the regular expression and now let me write the other part of the code and now I'm going to write the next one which is the ordinal so the ordinal is one so what is the meaning of ordinal why should I give it as one so why I'm giving ordinal is equal to one or why it is set to one is it indicates that I want to capture the first occurrence of the J session ID value that matches the specified regular expression pattern in the response so based on the above response so I have to pick up the first value that has matched the expression so if there are multiple instances of J session ID in the response this parameter allows you to specify which one you are interested in capturing so for example you have multiple J session ID so you can set it as ordinal equal to 1 or ordinal equal to 2 or ordinal equal to 3 based on which value you have to choose so in many cases you may only be interested in capturing the first occurrence of a value because it's the one relevant to your test scenario so however if you need to capture multiple occurrences you can use different ordinal values or loop through the captured values in your script to work with them individually now let's move on now let's move to the next line so the next one is going to be group equal to 1 so what is group equal to 1 so when you define a regular expression you can use parentheses to create capturing groups and these groups allow you to isolate and capture specific portions of the matched text with the regular expression so in a regular expression pattern the capturing groups are numbered starting from one so the first set of parentheses creates capturing group one the second set of parentheses creates capturing group two so that's the reason we are giving it as one so in that in, the, in our scenario this will capture the first group and now let's move on to the next value so now the next value is going to be the search filters so the search filters is inside the body so we are going to search any value inside the body and not into any other 
main or head or so most of the times the J session ID value stays in your body so it's always recommended to search in the scope of the body and then finally the last so finally the last so the last parameter is used to indicate that this is the last occurrence of the web bridge save param regular expression function in our script so it serves as a signal to load runner that I have finished defining the parameters to save and there are no more web bridge save param regular expression function to follow so this is important this function I mean the last parameter is important because it helps load runner understand the scope of where this specific correlation function should apply so in load runner scripts we may have multiple occurrences of this function to capture different values from different parts of the request our response so by using last in the last occurrence I tell the load runner that this is the final correlation function in the script section so now we have extracted the value and let's now write the value and for that I'm going to use the LR output message so LR output let me again type so yeah LR output message and it's going to be extract J session ID colon and I will use ampersand s because it will be a string and then a comma and here I'm going to use LR eval string and then inside the brackets inside the double quotes again I'm going to give the J session ID in the flower brackets so the the braces let me close the functions and yeah so now we are good everything is good there are no any errors so in case if you want to compile even before you start the scripting so I, I just do a compilation and everything looks fine no errors detected and let's run the script so here the request has been executed and we have got the response and here in line C21 the extracted J session ID is f 9 c 3 because this is how the next time where every time this value changes and this here is an example because the one that we recorded is different and the one that we extracted is different and that's how the correlation works and that's how the web bridge save param works and the moment you extracted this value you can just go here to a dollar and the way you can the way you have entered here just copy paste this value and automatically this value will be replaced here instead of the value that we have captured so with that I come to an end I will create another video telling you the differences between the web bridge save param regular expression and the web bridge save param in my next video so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel until I meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from Vasan Shanmugam and Little Slav